Sagittarius, welcome to Sagittarius Sun at the Crown Fix, baby. Let's see what's going on for you guys today. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Sagittarius collector? Okay, let go of your control issues. Heart to heart conversation is coming up in the reverse. I'm not really just, can't read them in reverse, but maybe you guys aren't talking. It says honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And it came up in the reverse. Somebody alienated. Somebody mad. About something. Anyway, the bottom of the deck says religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Oh. Okay. So one of y'all could be religious and one of y'all could be spiritual. And that's why communication was cut off. Because this one, this card came up in the reverse. But see, Spirit is saying, let go of your control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. I see angels all over this. But I see a man who's been, being very stubborn. So there could have been someone expressing their emotions in this person like, uh-uh. Nope, they don't believe like I believe. I don't. I ain't saying nothing. But I feel like they care about you, and they let their religious these religious factors stop them from what possibly could have been a, a good relationship. So let's see. I saw the page of swords, so other people could have been gossiping about this. This could be somebody who cares what other people got to say. Oh, God. Yep, Eight of Cups. I feel like this person walked away from you. Because of what other people... Yeah, family. This person's family could be real religious. I mean, you can't live for other people. Because those other people, sometimes they have ulterior motives. Ten of Swords. And, um... Yeah, look. They did it, though. They walked away from you because of what other people were saying. Could have been a grandmama or... Uh, no, this grandmama is dead. This grandmama is in the spiritual realm. This grandmama trying to bring y'all together. You see this old lady? This old lady... See, the dogs, they see this old woman. Some of y'all might have dogs that be barking into the corners. It's because there's an old spirit over there. This spirit is trying to get these two people together. I feel like these two people just met in passing one day. Just random as fuck. Um, but there was something very different about these two. But whoever this woman is, I feel like, like I said, this is someone who's on the spirit realm. They're trying to bring y'all together. <sighs> okay. So now... Um, with this four of cups, whatever they walked away to do, for some of these people, they walked away and chose someone else. Others just walked away because of what family had to say. They miss you. But this person is very stubborn. And that's why Spirit is saying, let go of your control issues. They know they got feelings for you. They know this. High Priestess. So some of y'all could be dealing with a uh, a Taurus, a Libra, a Gemini, or a Leo. What's behind this? Mm. Mm. Queen of Pentacles and an Empress. That's two different people. And um, so maybe this King of Wands, whether this could be a Leo or a Cancer, this King of Wands had the choice with the lovers. Between a Queen of Pentacles or an Empress. They may have chosen a Queen of Pentacles. Over the Empress. Hmm. Now, with the High Priestess in the Eight of Wands, it's a lot of telepathic communication. Probably freaked this damn King of Wands out. Because they probably dream about you a lot. They probably see your name all over the place. 
Uh, that is the universe trying to get y'all back together. Okay. Let's get some kippers on this. Somebody knew this. Uh, somebody knew that this King of Wands was they cared too much about what people said and they took advantage of that. This other lover took advantage of that. So, Distant Horizon. Three of Wands. Mm -hmm. Now this is the King of Pentacles. So, wow, hell no, nah, y'all. Some of y'all person, instead of getting with you, they got with that Queen of Pentacles, but yet they can't stop thinking about that Empress. Can't stop thinking about you. They could have chose material over love or just chose wrong. You know, they could have thought that the uh, Queen of Pentacles would bring them wish fulfillment, but... And here they are in the four of pentacles right here and they could be in a marriage or in a relationship but with the coffin adjudication that shit's coming to an end because they can't get this other person off their mind there's a four over this courtship because this is what spirit wants to come together um they just didn't let it unfold naturally they didn't follow their emotions. They didn't follow what they was feeling. This person ignored many, many, many signs. I mean, if this is somebody who married someone, your ass was showing up in this person's dreams the night before the damn wedding, and they ignored all of that shit. So now, they're having to end whatever the hell that is off adjudication with the four of wands they're having to end that relationship because i mean it's like this at some point it's not a coincidence oh i had a dream about this person last night then i woke up and i saw 11 11 and then i turned on the tv and i heard that person's name like if, if it happens a couple of times it's coincidence this has it's constant and somebody's ancestor who has passed on is constantly dealing with this person. So, I mean, this person had to be honest with themselves. Like, yeah, I'm in, why am I in this relationship? All I do is think about this other person. But we're different. We're just too different. One of us is spiritual. One of us is religious. People need to learn how to coexist. People miss their greatest blessings looking at dumb shit. Because they chose someone that they thought the family and their, their friends and all of that would approve of. But they're not happy. Yep, Eight of Swords. Stuck in, some, stuck in some bullshit because of family. Or beliefs. Oh, shit. People was gossiping about someone's work or... Some of y'all could have a platform. Or something that you do for work that people talk about. There's a mystery around what you do for work. What's this other card that fell out? Two of Pentacles. <sighs> and for others of you, it's like they hear Three of Pentacles and Page of Swords. All of these people sitting here gossiping about the Empress. But you see all that water back there? It's a lot of emotions that this person is fighting. The moon is also deep emotions. The secret here is that they really did want to work on it with you and still do. But they was just worried about what everybody else was saying. Which is sad. Because me personally, I don't want a motherfucker who can't stand up for what they want. 
I don't want no weak hearted person. I don't want no scared person. Oh, well, I'm just gonna go and get in this other relationship because it's more suitable for my family and friends. That don't even make sense. Your family and friends ain't gotta build with this person. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't want nobody like that. Fuck that shit. Leaving yourself out in the cold. Well, this is this is some this how you know if it's your reading child. This is somebody who asking everybody what you think about this person. What you think about this person? What the fuck do you think about them? Crazy shit don't make sense. What else, spirit? Now they wish to find some type of common ground because the truth of the matter is, yeah, the family and friends is happy with who they're with, but they're not happy with who they with. And so now they they might be walking away from that energy. You can only fake for so long. And whoever this woman is, like I said, it could either be someone's mother, a grandmother, an aunt, but this woman is most definitely passed over. Uh, See, this is what Spirit is showing me. This is the Empress. This Empress can see this woman. These dogs can see this woman. It's this man that came here. And I feel like this woman is on in this man's family. But they're not listening. They got their back to 1133 on the phone. They got their back turned to their own spirit guides. But I feel like this empress could see this person because this empress might be very, um, we saw the high priestess. You might be highly intuitive. Um, shit, this guy, the spirit guy may have came through you, spoke something through you to get to this person. And they still, first card out, let go of your control issues. Mm, mm, mm. This child, because this child has on blue, just like this man, I feel like this child belongs to this man, but this child could see this woman. She talked to the woman at he. The child talks to the woman at night. That uh, woman guards and protects that child. She also protects that man, but that man don't acknowledge her. This woman was striped up. I feel like this woman was a, a God-fearing woman. Mm -hmm. But even she said, even she feels these two people are made for each other. But again, you know, this person just ain't listening. Look. I feel like sooner or later... Because they, they're not going to be able to continue to fight this shit. They're going to come towards you with some type of truth and offer um, a commitment here. Or at least offer some type of friendship. It's going to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Where the first heart-to-heart -heart conversation came up in the reverse. That's what the Page of Cups is, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Ace of Cups, Death, Three of Swords. This is giving me the energy. You didn't see this person's tears. It hurt them to walk away from you, but they are so consumed with what other people are going to say. They didn't know how to just stand out there and be themselves. But with this death card, I feel like that's changing because I have this nine of pentacles with the star. I feel like that's exactly what they're going to do. Be authentic. That's what this star is all about. Healing and being true to self. And that's not what they've been doing. Yep. Healing. This person's been doing a lot of talking to God too. 1444 on the phone because for some reason, there's people in either... This is just how they was raised, or there's people in this person's family, which I really feel like that's the case. 
people in this person's family that is doing a lot of gossip and making it seem like it really could be something that you do for work with the eight of pentacles and the moon you know you could work with spirituality you could speak to dead people because like i said in this car you could see this the woman that's already passed away but this woman is this man's spirit guide not your spirit guide but i feel like she comes and talks to you to get a message to this person and so they could have been gossiping about what you do for work i don't know and it's just like but see the people that was doing the gossip knows that this king of wands is going to listen to the majority which is why we saw that ten of swords they knew how this king of wands would respond and that's why they did it and the king of wands responded that way if we the family's like well if we strongly voice our opinion about us not liking a particular person the king of wands won't date them 1555 and they didn't date them everybody's talking shit about this person I don't like this king of wands for y'all cause he should have been standing up for you like a real man he did he acted like a real woman I'm so scared what my family gonna say Anyway, you have the Wheel of Fortune here. I feel like things are changing. Either this person come up out their fucking control issues and, and put the fucking gossip to the side. Let me tell you this. Only bitter, insecure, immature motherfuckers sit around and gossip about people. And so if they were able to get other people to listen to them, they all on the same vibration. And in that case, what the fuck you want to be bothered with them people for anyway? They low vibrational and toxic as fuck. Judgmental judgmental y'all <laughs> not all religious people but in my case them is some of the most judgmental motherfuckers i ever met and they feel justified in their actions right you think just because you go to church you can walk around here and judge people judging you will be judged period I wouldn't even want to be around these type of motherfuckers. Anyway, you got the Knight of Pentacles and it fell out on top of the Two of Pentacles with the Hierophant. This person's own fucking beliefs have become a prison and a burden. And uh, they want to move away from that. Because it ain't nothing but drama. Why you got so many people involved with who you date? Because you ask them. What you think about this person? What you think about... What, what the fuck? And so now that you done add everybody and they fucking mama, they don't know how you feel about this individual. And they only judge them by what they see. What they tell you, don't never judge a fucking book by its cover. Because this motherfucker ended up choosing the Queen of Pentacles over a damn Empress. So if them some bitches knew anything, they would have told your ass to choose the Empress, but they don't know shit. Why could they stuck in these four fucking walls? No, if, no new information ever gets to come in. They all look alike, think alike, act alike, dress alike. The shit lame as fuck, bruh. So now, yo ass or whoever this king of wands is need to make a head over heart decision. You gonna keep living for these motherfuckers or you gonna live for yourself? Don't die with regret and don't live with that shit either. That's what I got for y'all. Till next time. <laughs>